Voyager's story is one of humanity's boldest ventures into the unknown. It is a tale that begins with curiosity, thrives on ingenuity, and stretches the imagination across billions of kilometers. What once seemed impossible, a human-made machine traveling into the depths of interstellar space, has not only become reality, but continues to redefine the limits of exploration. These two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were never just missions, they were an audacious declaration that humanity could reach beyond its cradle and touch the cosmos. Even more astonishing is the fact that these lone explorers, now traveling farther than any human-made object in history, continue to send data back to Earth. They do so using technology older than a cassette player, with computers smaller than a modern smartphone and transmitters that use only 23 watts of power, barely enough to light a small bulb. And yet, after more than 45 years, they have made discoveries so profound that they challenge our understanding of the solar system and our place in the universe. The story begins with a spark of genius. Gary Flandro, a visionary engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, noticed a rare cosmic alignment. In the late 1970s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were preparing to line up in a formation that occurs only once every 176 years. Flandro realized that this alignment would create a gravitational pathway, a natural slingshot effect that could propel a spacecraft from planet to planet, gaining speed and energy with every encounter. It was like discovering a celestial highway stretching across the solar system. The implications were extraordinary. A mission to Neptune, normally requiring a 30-year journey, could now be accomplished in just 12. But the opportunity was fleeting. NASA had a narrow window, and every day counted. In the summer of 1977, just 15 days apart, Voyager 2 and Voyager 1 were launched. These twin spacecraft, nearly identical in design, were tasked with a mission that would not only test human ingenuity but push the limits of what machines could endure in the cold, unforgiving void of space. Originally, the mission was planned to last a mere four years, focusing on flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. But the Voyagers were designed to exceed expectations. They did not simply complete their objectives, they ventured into the unknown, becoming ambassadors of humanity to the stars. From the moment they began their journey, the Voyagers delivered wonders that changed our perception of the solar system. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, revealed a complex, dynamic world. Voyager images showed swirling storms, massive atmospheric patterns, and the first glimpses of the volcanic eruptions on Io, a moon once thought to be a frozen, lifeless rock. Europa, another moon of Jupiter, revealed a surface of ice that concealed a subsurface ocean, hinting at the tantalizing possibility of extraterrestrial life. Saturn, with its elegant rings, displayed storms and atmospheric phenomena that defied human imagination. Voyager 2 went on to become the first spacecraft in history to visit Uranus in 1986, and Neptune in 1989. These encounters offered humanity unprecedented glimpses of worlds previously known only as points of light in telescopes. Uranus, tilted on its side, appeared almost alien, while Neptune's dark storms and icy composition challenged every preconception scientists held about the outer planets. Each new piece of data reshaped our understanding, showing that these distant worlds were not static, frozen spheres but dynamic, ever-changing planets, with moons as active and complex as any found closer to the Sun. As the Voyagers pushed further from Earth, their journey grew more perilous. They braved the asteroid belt, navigated through the hazards of cosmic radiation, and endured decades of extreme temperatures, all while continuing to send priceless information home. Their systems, with a memory of only 69 kilobytes, had to operate autonomously, making real-time decisions millions of kilometers from Earth. And yet, despite these limitations, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 exceeded every expectation, demonstrating the remarkable resilience of human engineering. Perhaps the most astonishing chapter in their voyage began as they approached the edge of the solar system. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, and beyond that, the vast Oort Cloud a distant shell of icy objects stretching nearly to the stars. It was here that the Voyagers would confront the final frontier of the Sun's influence, the Heliopause. This invisible boundary marks the edge of the solar wind's reach, 
where the sun's magnetic field fades, and the vast domain of interstellar space begins. Crossing it would be humanity's first direct encounter with the galaxy beyond. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved this historic milestone. But the results were not what scientists expected. Instead of a sudden, dramatic shift, the transition into interstellar space was subtle. Cosmic rays did not flood the spacecraft as predicted, and the orientation of the magnetic field remained surprisingly consistent. High-energy particles from distant supernovae, expected to dominate interstellar space, were deflected in ways that challenged decades of theory. Yet, through careful analysis, researchers confirmed that Voyager 1 had indeed left the protective bubble of the Sun. Plasma measurements indicated a denser medium consistent with interstellar space, a revelation that reshaped our understanding of the solar system's boundaries. Voyager 2 would follow, providing complementary data and confirming that interstellar space was far more complex and intertwined with the Sun's influence than anyone had imagined. Together, these spacecraft painted a picture of a galaxy not as an empty void, but as a dynamic, interactive environment, with forces that continue to surprise and mystify even the most seasoned scientists. Now, decades after launch, Voyager 1 has detected signals that defy explanation. The mysterious readings, subtle yet unmistakable, have scientists searching for answers once more. They remind us that even after 45 years, the universe holds secrets beyond our comprehension. The technological feat of the Voyagers is staggering. Data collected by onboard instruments is transmitted via a 23-watt transmitter to massive Earth-based antennas, traveling billions of kilometers at the speed of light. Signals that take more than 18 hours to reach us arrive as faint whispers, vulnerable to interference from human-made radio noise. And yet, every single transmission adds to a legacy of discovery, expanding humanity's understanding of the universe in ways that were once unimaginable. As the Voyagers continue their journey through interstellar space, they carry with them humanity's curiosity, ingenuity, and hope. Golden records aboard the spacecraft contain images, music, and messages intended for any intelligent life that may one day find them. A message that says, in essence, we were here. We wondered. We reached for the stars. Voyager's mission has been nothing short of miraculous. It is a testament to human determination the power of ingenuity, and the unquenchable thirst for exploration. More than just machines, the Voyagers are a bridge between humanity and the infinite, a reminder that even at the edge of our reach, the universe refuses to surrender all its secrets. And as long as these spacecraft continue to traverse the darkness, we are still listening, still learning, and still discovering what lies beyond our tiny corner of the cosmos. The Voyagers have traveled further than anyone could have imagined. They have outlived their creators, outlasted their original mission, and continue to teach us that the universe is a place of wonder, mystery, and endless possibility. Every signal they send is a whisper from the stars, a proof that human curiosity can reach farther than our bodies, our cities, or even our imagination. And as we continue to explore the cosmos, Voyager remains our steadfast guide, a silent traveler showing us that even in the vast, cold darkness, humanity's light can endure.